Okay, here we have the D-Rope standard model. This model is for descent only and it can be used for self-rescue or for rescuing a casualty. It's a high capacity descender rated to EN341 and it can be used for multiple descents. The device itself has got a centrifugal brake inside there, brake pads, which controls the rate of descent from between half a metre and two metres per second, depending on the weight of the user. If you are lowering the casualty, you can actually slow the rate of descent by getting hold of the dead end of the rope, which is the end that isn't attached to the casualty. Passing that over the rope guide at the top, just by putting that S bend in there, we've created friction, which we can then slow the rate of descent. If we want to, once we've slowed it down, we can then pass it through the front of the cleat, the cleat on the front of the device, which completely locks it, and the casualty will be suspended. Lowering the rate of descent is particularly useful if you're lowering somebody who's unconscious. So as they get down to the ground, you can slow that rate of descent so you're not crashing them into the ground. The rope inside is a 10.5 millimeter Kern mantle rope. The terminations are double figure of eight knots, which are then wrapped. The wrapping stops the knots from coming undone and it also prevents any dirt or grit getting inside there, causing damage to the rope. We have connectors with pins in them to stop them cross-gate loading. And we also put a label in the end of the rope, which tells you exactly how many metres of rope are contained within the device. Lifespan, we, we don't put an absolute lifespan on the products. We give a guide life of 10 years, but if that comes back to us and a competent person inspects it, we can then extend that beyond that 10 year period if, if suitable. The care label at the front has got all the key information in, that's included within the manual. And then on the rear of the device, we have a second label, which has the serial number, the date of manufacture, the standard and the CE mark for the product. D-Rope standard, controlled rate descender, EN341, descent only. Okay, here we have the D-Rope UP-A device. Unlike the standard version, which is for descent only, the UP-A can be used to descend, but also to raise the casualty back up towards the anchor point. The front part of the device is exactly the same as the standard. You've got your two ropes coming down. It's got that controlled rate descent between 0.5 and 2 meters per second. Same as on the standard, if you want to, you can slow that rate of descent if you're lowering a casualty by using the rope guide and putting that S-bend, like a little bit of friction through the system, or we can lock it off all together at the front. It's EN341 for the device, and it also has the addition of EN1496, which is the rescue recovery winch on the rear of the device. With these, there's two different ways that we can raise a casualty. First of all is manually, it comes with a handle that just pops out there, you can turn the handle and that raises the person up. If you want to make life a bit easier and a bit quicker, on the new model you can use the drill. The drill has to be 300 watt with a 14 volt battery minimum and then an 8 mil socket. The socket just goes on to the rear of the device there, we power it up, it can quickly and easily raise a casualty back to the anchor point. So unlike the standard version, you've got the recovery on the back. It's very popular for industries like the wind industry and also for rescue from high structures such as cranes.